Let's talk toys. What's up all you Disney Plus subscribing dudes and dudettes? Toysh is here and I got a really rocking, well, fresh look basically for you guys today. I went on a recent road trip along the California coast and stopped at a lot of cities, a lot of thrift stores, a lot of thrift stores that I have been to back in the past, still existing. And you know what? I found some really cool stuff, especially this Boba Fett knockoff figure that I just absolutely love. I saw it on the store shelf. It's a it's a thrift store in Chico. If you've ever been to Chico, California, they got a lot of great thrift stores there. But this one in particular, you you need about 45 minutes to an hour to go through everything because they, they, you have to dig. I like digging, you know, through stuff and, and finding the gold, but... They have several aisles of toys, and this one was just sitting, it was sitting in a bag, like a plastic bag, because the the card on this was all taped up. The, the figure and some of the accessories, which I'll show you, were still in the card, but it was severely taped shut, basically, to keep this all on. But I will, before we get to the, the, the main course, which is this Boba Fett, I'll show you the packaging <laughs> by which he comes in, and as you can see, it's, it's, a bit, it's a police dog and a man and this unfortunately has fallen off this is why the tape it was basically is fixed but basically it's just a plastic bubble and then you have the picture of a man a police officer a canine unit holding the german shepherd dog whatever you want to call him and as you can see it's basically just a piece of cardboard and it, it had a price tag on the back at one point i love i got it for 49 cents you know you get the warning and you got the barcode and everything on it but you know this is it says made in china but it's one of those swap meat type toys that i remember seeing all the time they used to have ninja Tur i mean they still do kind of sort of but this one in particular is just I, I absolutely love this because it's boba fett and the mandalorian has got me all excited this was one of the pieces inside i thought that initially it was a stand but it's basically just a floppy piece of plastic with an indent so i'm assuming maybe it's a stand for the figure although i don't think they understand that the stand wouldn't be this big plus he doesn't even have foothold pegs so you know what if it's not it's just filler for the packaging and then also he comes with this really sweet plastic like really thin plastic hat and it kind of sort of said it kind of emulates the canine if you can kind of see it, it's it's a little hard to distinguish, but it says canine, much like the artwork in the background, and I'm assuming you are supposed to put it on old booba booba cop or <laughs> that doesn't work at all. But of course, the main part, and one thing is, is that in the plastic, it did show there's supposed to be a giant space weapon or gun or something like that, lost to time, wherever it may be. It wasn't in the packaging, however. This was in there, this red, and I thought at first it was like a red firing missile. When you see these things right off the bat, you think, oh, okay, it's a rocket fire thing for Boba Fett. It's this, it's this red missile, something like that. No, it's just a red colored baton police, you know, used to beat people with. So you can give it right to Boba Fett and it looks pretty rad. So just in looking at the actual Boba Fett, I mean, he does have some pretty decent paint going on. He's got an all red mask. It's the red little viewfinder thing on his helmet. It's got some silver brown accents. The whole figure is basically cast in a blue plastic. He's got some Boba Fett looking gauntlets and gloves and everything. It's kind of a mashup. He's like a Western hero mixed with Boba Fett helmet and everything. So no paint at all on the back. Just flat dark blue. But for what it is, I absolutely love this thing. This thing weighs approximately like nothing point nothing. Like it's just... You can see it's very, it's like hollow plastic and I, it, articulation is at the arms, at the head, and he kind of kicks out. It's something very special to me that for to find this at one of my, you know, a store I haven't been to in years. And just something fun to show off, to be quite honest. It's just, it's sitting on my work desk now. It's one of my favorite things. If you're wondering if he holds the baton, he actually does. So I'd like to think this is what Boba Fett did after... Maybe escaping the Sarlacc pit, he just went on to be a beat cop with a, a canine unit. Something like that, but I absolutely love this figure. It's one of those special items in my collection now. A Boba Fett knockoff, we'll call him like Gluba Fett, Boba Fett or something. I don't know, whatever. I can't think of good names. It's, it's just one of those really interesting, we'll say, 
south of the border type toys or Chinese or whatever you want to say. It's awesome. It's interesting. I love his little hat that plays absolutely no function in this thing. And then the the worst stand ever. But it's in my collection. It's on my desk. I'm curious to know what you guys think. Have you ever seen one like this? I know that there are several hundreds of different Star Wars knockoffs and such. But have you ever seen this one or one like it? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk all things knockoff toys what's your favorite knockoff toy do you have any in particular i'm gonna leave you guys with that as always drink some great coffee eat some great food but most importantly remember boba fett is not a true mandalorian that's what the mandalorian just taught us but the mandalorian is a true mandalorian and needlessly complicate that and when you do let me know what you found i'll talk to you guys soon adios